My main focus is this off season were bringing up my back and my arms. Um, those were two points that were lacking last year on stage and also improving my conditioning. Uh, that's just part of prep, you know, I'm on track to do that right now. But this off season, I actually did something which I wouldn't recommend for a lot of people. I actually stopped deadlifting off the floor uh, to improve my back. Usually finish up with like a stretch at the end, um, you know, just Hold it overhead, stretch out your lats once they're all pumped up. Probably helps. I don't know how. One. Come on. Good. Come on. Oh, HEV sushi, that must have been yummy. I got no sushi, which was lame. I had no idea H-E-B sold sushi. Yeah. I'd be skeptical of it if it weren't for your approval. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. H-E-B yeah. sushi is it's good. Yes, we're talking yeah. about H-E-B again. Hitting back, but it's a four-man rotation, so you're all going to train yeah. in tandem on the eight stack? Or yeah, we're just, we're just, we're gonna do, we're just rotate around the cable stack <laughs> over there. Be like one of be those like, um, aerobic circuit workouts, yeah. you know, like the moms do? Yeah, it's just, you know, because uh, there's... One thing that uh, middle-aged women don't like to do is lift weights. <laughs> I don't like. I don't want to accidentally get too bulky. It doesn't happen by accident. I promise. I promise everyone. It doesn't matter what you're taking or not taking. You don't just accidentally get too bulky. Just big, don't lift weights. You know. Big J. What happened? What I do? We decided to let him in the office today. He didn't have to stay out there. Um, just so you guys know, it's 2024, and I no longer have to take back doors. I can come in the front door. Damn, he said there are people coming from this Amazon. Look at this guy, Neanderthal looking at him. Look, let's fucking go, burn. What's up, is that them? Nick. <laughs> What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Hi, hey, Corey. Nice Corey, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And 22 USA's, he got first, I got second, super heavies. That's where he went pro. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we'll get a rematch one day. I distinctly remember you walking around backstage, like head to toe in a bunch of gas gear. And you you were like the last guy to peel off back there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this guy's confident. Like, Apparently oh, it was not nearly enough. Yeah. Yesterday should have been my back and shoulder day, but nobody trains back and shoulders, so I did shoulders and arms with uh, Stu and Garrett, and then just moved back to the, today. So today's like my secondary back day. I'll only do like four movements. I don't want to absolutely crush my back. And then I didn't hit rear delts yesterday, so I'll hit those at the end. I think for me at least, I'd gotten to the point where strength-wise, I was strong enough where a hard set of deadlifts, a couple of hard sets of deadlifts would just completely zap my CNS to the point where if I put them in the middle of my workout, uh, I, they would really just kind of wreck the rest of my training session. Uh, and I think I'd get a lot less benefit out of everything else that I did afterwards. Uh, and it's just a huge recovery toll. Uh, each week to, to put your body through. So um, I already had a lot of good thickness up and down my spine, so that wasn't the main focus. I needed more width and I needed more sort of upper back thickness, traps and rhomboids. So I really focused on chest supported rows and wider grip pull downs, and, uh, as well as you know my regular old lat movements that I've always done. Um, but I prioritized those two, st two things. I prioritized those two things chest supported rows for my upper back and wide grip pull downs for my teres and upper lat. And I think that was pretty effective uh, combined with sort of getting rid of some of the fatigue from deadlifting really heavy. Take me down. Yep. Right, yep. Good. 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 Ride your elbow. Come on. 
Uh, yep. There you go. Yep. Two more. Yep. Uh, one more. Uh, roll it up. There you go. Uh, set. Come on. Try. Two. Uh. Come on. Uh. All right, two more. Yep. Uh. All right, boy. Uh. Good boy. Good. Let's go. Come on, Stu. Let's go. Ah, come on. Ah. All right, be there. Let's go. Stop. Ah. One more. One more. One more. Get it. Ah. Yep. Mine. Ah. As for my arms, um, I actually did something new this year, which I've never done before. I actually started doing an arm day. Um, I've never done an arm day before because I just kind of find it boring. I, I, it's hard to get myself hyped up and revved up to train arms really hard because um, it's just biceps and triceps. Um, but the, you know, there's no heavy compounds. There's nothing like intimidating or scary about the session. You're basically just trying to force as much blood into the your, your arms as you can, um, which is what I focused on with that training session. Um, but having its own dedicated day definitely did make a difference for me. Um, it's not my favorite day of the week to train, but it's definitely grown on me the more I've done it. Uh, occasionally I'll throw in some, some lateral delt or, or overhead pressing uh, touch-up work. Um, but yeah, so I'll have a main arm day on Fridays and then I'll have a push day on Mondays usually and a pull day on Tuesdays where I'm hitting triceps and biceps respectively. So I'm still hitting both those muscle groups twice a week. Um, but just having that single day just for my arms when I just force as much blood into that area as possible um, and try to just pump the hell out of them, I think that's been beneficial for me. There's something, I think for certain muscle groups, there's something to be said for just pumping the hell out of them. Um, particularly in my experience, uh, your lateral delts, your arms, and your quads. Um, you should probably be getting a pump regardless of what you're doing, but you know, higher rep sets, really just trying to force as much blood in as possible um, can be more beneficial for certain muscle groups like that from what I found at least, so. Hey, keep going. 10, good. Come on. 11, squeeze, yep. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Pull, 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 pull. Squeeze, control. Casi, casi igual. That's basically how I approach the off season. And you know, as I roll into prep, I've kept my training split the same, kept everything the same basically, because you know, don't fix it if it ain't broken. That's what put the muscle on me uh, over the last few months, and that's what's going to keep it there. Um, as for the last thing, uh, getting myself in better condition than last year. I'm about four weeks out now and I'm just about as lean as I was on stage last year. Uh, so I'm on track to improve that. Um, just trying to time things properly and not overdo it um, too, so too soon. So uh, just washing things close really right now and uh, probably in the next week or two, gonna push on the gas the last little bit and uh, get everything off me, stripped off, so. 
go, Brandon. Come on. Come on. Get yep. Come on. Boom. Big set. Big set. Come on. Boom. Good. Easy. Boom. That's easy. Come on. Boom. Good. Good. Boom. Good. Boom. Good. There we go. Boom. Push. Boom. Come on. Boom. Nope. Good. Boom. Two. Good. Back. Yep. One. Come on. Back. Good, good. Good stuff. Ooh. Bringing out a little wider, like an overhand wider grip, or like wider neutral grip like that. I mean, it looks like you're doing the same thing. You're kind of driving the bar towards your neckline instead of like down with your elbows, you're kind of driving more back. Um, that's going to kind of hit your Terry's muscle a little better. That's what I do this for. Drive, come on. Come on. Ooh. Let's go. Dumbbell rows. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> dumbbell row party? I'm not gonna talk to you, I'm just gonna stare at you while you do so. I'm going I'm gonna size you up the whole time.
that like the first exercise y'all did? Or is that a little bit different? Uh, well, I think we did this last time we did back here too. But we, we just kind of started off with a pullover to get a little connection with our lats going before we went into like a proper pull down. Get a little blood in there, feel it. Uh, and now that we've trained everything else, we're just gonna do some pump work on here. It's still hard sets, but like, uh, and then usually finish up with like a stretch at the end. Um, you know, just hold it overhead, stretch out your lats once they're all pumped up. Feels good. Probably helps. I don't know how. Could explain it to you. But. Man, look at all the veins, guys. Shit. I, I saw a pro bodybuilder do it once, so it probably works, right? Eh? Come on. Chicago, 15 weeks. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Nice. Good, George. Come on. Get back in action. Seven. Nine. Eight. Eight. Nine. Let's work. Let's go. Good. Two. Oh, squeeze. Come on. Make you work. Squeeze. Control. 